so I made it in the park. I, I got to the right park now. And this is the uh, main entrance of uh, Tokyo Disney Sea. And what we're looking at right now, this is, these are actually hotels. So if you actually come like, and stay overnight or something, you have more than a day pass, you can check into one of these hotels. Here. And uh, this um, sort of, this main, main uh, area here with the water feature is actually where they do shows. So we might come and watch one of the shows later. Um, and I just found out they no longer hand out paper uh, maps of the park. So you have to look at uh, where you're going on the map. But from what I remember, the park is pretty much like circular. So you can start like going on this side and go all the way around to the back of the park. And then, you know, you can cut then exit coming that way and like come out of the park. So you hit every single area of the park. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll just try to get <laughs> do what we did before because um, it's still like the sun is kind of right behind us so it's kind of hard to catch everything nicely but I'm going to try my best I hope you guys enjoy it so here is a big open space and a big area as soon as you enter the park and it has the giant globe um, as the, uh, the point uh, the main point feature and a lot of people like to gather around and take pictures especially at night before they leave the park they will tend to gather here and take uh, selfies so it's golden week which is a uh, 10 day long holiday in japan and because of that and because it's covid cases are still high in japan um, the government has declared a state of emergency and so um, Tokyo Disney Sea has limited the number of people into the park down by 75 percent. Um, so today there's only 5,000 people in here instead of 20,000 people and that's why the park looks so empty. As for getting tickets into the park, um, you can only get tickets through their official website online right now and it's a lot of people want to get tickets so the website tends to crash <laughs> i tried for two hours and i was about to give up but finally i actually managed to get a ticket for golden week so yeah So let's talk about um, staying overnight in Tokyo Disney Sea. Um, so these hotel rooms are um, starts from 450 USD per night, and for the 450 uh, per night rooms, you only get a partial view. It says. Um, however, on the plus side is that you can fit three people in that room. Thank you. 
We ask that you please be considerate of others when coughing or sneezing. Please. Hand sanitizers are available throughout the park for your use. During your visit, if you do not feel well, please contact the nearest cast member. So this area that we're in right now is uh, called the Mediterranean Harbor area and it's reminiscent of um, the southern European port town um, with lots of shops and sh restaurants. So let's head into this area and take a look around. So I think we're in this section that's like Mediterranean uh, inspired. So they have, uh, I think they're called gondolas. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Where like um, you can get a ride. I think you have to pay, and you can ride the gondola, and they will like push you along the river. So we'll walk around this area a little bit and check it out. Okay. Sorry, let me correct that. Um, the gondola rides are free. Uh, we don't have to pay extra for them. So this Mediterranean Harbor area has four attractions, like four rides, um, 14 shops, and nine restaurants. Um, so as you will soon find out, Tokyo Disney Sea is more about the dining and the shopping experience than it is about the, the rides. So I think this is the line to ride the gondola. In there. But they space people out quite far apart because of the uh, coronavirus. So people are spaced apart in line. And there are a lot less people 
in the park, like a lot less than I remember. And I think I'm at the end <laughs> of this section. Shall we? No, I think that takes us me back to the beginning. So let's go back out this way. Yeah. So something really cool that you'll notice is that when people come to the Tokyo Disney Sea with their friends or with their boyfriend or girlfriend, they tend to come in matching outfits. So like they'll wear the same t-shirt or they'll wear like Mickey headbands. Um, so that when they take pictures together, it's like really cute, it's really tidy, um, really nice. So yeah. Look how you can leave your strollers here because you want to take the ride. So one of the things that I really find fascinating in Japan is their honor system. Like people leave their strollers sometimes with their stuff, important stuff in, in, in them on the side and go on the ride and they just like have complete trust that their stuff will still be there when they come back. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the Mediterranean Harbor area and ne up next we're going to go into the Broadway, New York City, set in the 1900s uh, area. So see you guys in the next video.